So how are you thinking currently about stem cells? Boy, this is, this is an area where, um, I, you know, I think it's, I think it's really complicated. I'm, I'm going to put this somewhere between noise and fuzzy, but, but again, I, I, I'm talking about it through one application for this purpose, which is osteoarthritis, which is where it's been most talked about and most studied in animals. So I want to, I want to reiterate that, right? So, um, I still find it very plausible that there are arenas in which stem cells could be beneficial. And I would say there are actually scenarios under which I would take stem cells, uh, if I had a certain injury. So if I tore my rotator cuff, um, and it was a marginal call as to whether it was surgical, I would absolutely start with a stem cell injection if it could mean avoiding surgery and waiting for a repair. And I would love nothing more, Nick, than to see an actual randomized clinical trial that takes patients in, who have torn their rotator cuff, again, let's try to take people with comparable injuries, and randomize them into three groups. Stem cell injection, surgical repair, non-surgical repair rehab. You know, and again, again, we could debate the merits of each of these approaches, but... I would really love to see that provided there was a way to create a uniform protocol around what it means to get stem cells. And in many ways, that's what has been hampering this field, I believe. To be clear, the FDA does not authorize the use of stem cells. So all of this is kind of existing either outside of the United States where it's not regulated by the FDA or it's sort of like you know, there's some sort of gray areas where it can be done, but it's, you know, it's obviously not covered by insurance or any of these other things. Um, and, and again, if you're presumably using, I'm not even sure how much these protocols are using autologous stem cells, uh, versus, uh, the stem cells of, of others. And, uh, so, so, so the, the total lack of consistency in what the actual agent is, the actual stem cell is a big part of what makes this very challenging. And therefore it's, and I would struggle with that. Like, so if I were in that situation I just described where I tore my rotator cuff and I was at least willing to consider doing this before surgery, the, the, the hardest part I would have is where am I going to do this? Like, who do I trust? Because it's not like I can look at someone's data and, and draw conclusions, right? You're basically looking at a bunch of marketing material, not actual data. Um, so I would say when we talk about osteoarthritis, at least we have the advantage that that there are like canine models of osteoarthritis where they've looked at, you know, stem cells. Um, and the truth of it is um, they, they have mixed results. Um, so some of them have shown that dogs with osteoarthritis, when injected with stem cells, uh, do tend to improve their gait. Uh, do tend to see a reduction in lameness, um, which again is, you know, partially assessed by gait, partially assessed by the use of medications or pain relief through medications. Um, and other studies have found no benefits whatsoever. And again, it's, it's hard to tease out what that means. Does it mean that the methodologies are flawed and that in some of these studies, they're not actually using the right stem cells. Again, stem cells are a very broad term. What are we really talking about? Are we talking about a pluripotent stem cell? Um, are we talking about, you know, uh, a, a donor derived stem cell? Are we talking about a fetal derived stem cell? All of these things create, uh, and by the way, then I haven't even got into like, what's the concentration of stem cells? What's the protocol? How many injections do you need? Like all of this stuff is still unclear. And as a result of that, we have a cottage industry that is the absolute wild west. Um, and it's, I think it's unfortunate. Like I really, I wish there was greater financial incentive to study for what the answer is, as opposed to just say, yeah, we know the answer, it works, or we know the answer, this is total, is a total sham, it shouldn't be done. When in reality, the, the truth might be somewhere there. So, so, so look, it's very hard to have this above noise right now because of a total absence of data, not because there isn't biological plausibility. There really is, but it's just, there's no data. Um, so I clearly, I'm not going to call this nonsense, uh, but this is not going to rise to the level of promising in my mind yet.
Thank <laughs> you.